So the question is, in a class of 150 students, 55 speak English, 85 speak Telugu, and 30 speak neither English nor Telugu. There are two questions here. The first question is, how many speak both English and Telugu? The options are 10, 15, 20, and 12. Second question is, how many speak only Telugu? The options are 55, 45, 65, and none of this. Now, so these are all known as Venn diagram problems or set theory programs, whatever you call it. It is set theory Venn diagram. And even the formula is not required. I'm going to give you the formula first. I'll also explain how it is done using the Venn diagrams. The, the formula is based on the Venn diagrams. I'll give you that. Then finally, I'll tell you even that Venn diagrams or the formula is not required. You can just do it by understanding simple English. Here, the formula is P of P of A union B will be equal to P of A plus P of B minus P of A intersection B. So this is the formula. This is the formula. The Venn diagram, the set theory of the Venn diagram for this is like this. See in this box, in this box, 150 people are there because it says 150 people. Inside this box, 150 people are there. This is English, English, and this is Telugu, English and Telugu. So what happens is, when I talk about A union B, all those coming here once, all those coming here once will be coming under A union B. All those coming here once will be A union B. If I take this as A, this as B, all those coming here once will be given as A union B. Now, 30 people are not coming in either English or Telugu because it says 30 speak neither English nor Telugu. So, 30 will not find a place here. I have got totally 150 students. So, 150 minus 30 will be A union B. 150 minus 30 will be A union B. And the question is, in how many speak both English and Telugu? This common part is English and Telugu. This is the intersection part. English people also will come here. Telugu people also will come here. So, these people appear twice. That's why the reduction is taking place. That reduction has to be reduced. That reduction has to be reduced from this place. So, what happens is, A is... Well, 55 speak English, this will be 55, and 85 speak Telugu, minus 6, minus 6. Now what will happen is, 120 will be equal to 140 minus 6, 120 will be equal to 140 minus x, or x will be equal to 20. So, the answer for the first question is 20. The answer for the first question is 20. Here, 20 speak both. Though they will come here. This common portion is for both English and Telugu. This common portion is for both English and Telugu. So the answer is 20. Now I told you I will give the shortcut without doing this formula, without the Venn diagram. That is easier way. Once the data is given, try to understand the question and do it faster. See what it says is that totally 150 students are there. So 150 students are there. Of which 30 have not studied anything means minus 30. I will have only 120 students, I will have only 120 students who know either English or Telugu or both. I can have only 120 students who know either English or Telugu or both. When a total English and Telugu, 55 plus 85 will be 140. So what is happening is I can have a maximum only 120 students, but I get 140 here. The reason for this 140 is, 20 people's name have found in this 55, the same 20 people's name has also been found in this 85. So 20 have studied both. As simple as this, 150 minus 30, total this, the difference whatever it is, is, is the intersection part or coming in both. As simple as this. So 20, don't do all this. In case you understand the question, do it like this in your real time exams. Now, the second part of the question is, how many speak only Telugu? Now what is given is, only means they should not know anything other than Telugu. Only means they should not know anything other than Telugu. Now what is given is, 85 know Telugu. What is given is, 85 know Telugu, of which 20 know English. Because the interesting part is 20. So only Telugu will be, 85 minus 20 will be 65. Because 85 know Telugu, among that 85, 20 also know English. So only Telugu will be 65. The answer is 20 and 65 in this question. The answer is 20 and 65. 
follow my subscribe to my channel follow my channel subscribe it to it it is free of cost i will be adding questions every now and then